Hello and welcome, my name is Jakob Hack and you're watching a ModStep overview video when you open up the app the first time. A project will be loaded and it will be filled with clips. Clips are these colored boxes in here and they contain MIDI information. You start them by tapping them and you stop them the same way. As you can see, something is running here right now, and this is the clock. You see, when you press play here, you start the cycle. So when launching a clip, the clip won't start playing until the cycle starts. And when stopping a clip, the clip won't stop playing until the cycle ends. Just like Ableton Link, and that is actually something that Modstep has support for. This up here is the transport bar. Your record function, rewind, play, and stop. The first time you open it up, it might feel a bit daunting with all of this stuff, but don't worry, you can make a new and clean project by going into the file browser that you can find up here. And here you will find controls to create folders, load projects, save projects, and make new ones. If you ever feel lost within ModStep, you can always enter tutorial mode. It's this question mark right here. When entering tutorial mode, the edge will start flashing. That way you'll always know when you are inside tutorial mode, because in this mode, when you tap something, a box will pop up, telling you what that thing you just tapped does. So remember to exit tutorial mode before you try doing anything else. After creating a new project, you will be greeted to this. Here you can add new tracks and scenes. And scenes are what holds clips. And clips hold media information. As you can see here, you've got a piano roll, an arpeggiator. You've also got a MIDI CC template editor. And ModStep comes packed with loads of MIDI templates for popular hardware synthesizers, making it easy to sequence things. The icon here always tells you what type of track you're working with. If you load up, let's say, a sampler, then the sampler will be shown here and you can enter it through pressing that icon. Here you have an arming function, and this will arm the track for recording incoming MIDI. You also have a mute and solo button. And this last one is for arming a track when you want to record audio. And all audio files can be found in the file browser under audio recordings. Now, if you look down here, you've got IO, where you can find the MIDI in and output and channel choosers for each track. You've also got a mixer. Here you can set levels independently on each track. The last button called Chain opens up a view so you can see what type of instrument or effect is loaded on a track. Now you set your BPM up here. When tapping it, you get this squared box right here. And then you just choose what BPM you want to be in. Of course, you have a swing mode too. When you've got MIDI controllers connected, then you can go into MIDI mapping mode. You can map MIDI to anything that has a blue line around it. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Jakob Hack, signing off.